In this video, we talk about forking and contributing to other people's projects. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So you're on GitHub and you find a project that you like and you want to work on or you want a copy of it for yourself. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fork that project and that way it goes into your remote repository and then you can pull it to your local repository and do all sorts of different things. So you go ahead and you find a project. I'm going to select this one right here just for example's sake. And you'll notice that there's an option up here for fork. You click this option right here. And what that does is it essentially makes a copy of that project in your remote repository. So that, that project was in somebody else's GitHub account. And when I hit that fork button, it brought it over to my GitHub repository. So that's what happened when I hit that fork button. So now that this project is in my remote repository, I can now clone it into my local repository. So to do that, we just come over here to clone or download, grab our link, and it's just like we cloned it in the last video if you watched that one. And we go over to our git bash system, git bash console. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna navigate to the correct folder. Right now I'm already in a, a master branch in my git videos project. And I don't wanna, don't wanna, be, don't wanna put a repository inside of a repository because things get messy doing that. So let me change directory real quick. All right, so now I'm just on my desktop. I'll do git clone and then paste the link in there and I'll run it real quick and it goes down. And so I pulled the remote repository into my system, my local repository. Now let me go ahead and navigate to that folder. So I'll change directory to WP Amazon S3 and cloud front and boom, just like that. I'm in the master branch of that repository. And then of course I can go ahead and navigate to that directory on my computer. So here it is on my desktop. Pop that up real quick and we see all the files that were on GitHub are now on my computer. And I can go ahead and you know work on it just like I would normally work on a project using Git. So hopefully if you've watched any of my previous videos, this is all making some sense on how this functions. So now you have a couple courses of action the first course of action is you could take this file, this directory, this project, and you could work on it in your local repository. You could push it to your remote repository and you could make it your own. So if you watched any of my previous videos, hopefully you know how to do that. And I mean, that that's just how you could do it, right? So you could make it your own. So that's one course of action. The other course of action is you could take this project and contribute to this project. So you, you become a contributor to like the, the base document the base project and that's what we're going to talk about right now is a bit on how to actually do that so first things first is if you're going to be contributing to somebody else's project the like standard protocol would be to create a new branch that you're doing your work on uh, instead of you know editing the master branch where if they do a merge like you could mess with things basically uh, Creating your own branch lets people see like the work you've done compared to the work other people have done. So you want to create your own branch first. So let's go ahead and do that. Git branch. And I'll just call it Nathan. So this is the Nathan branch. And let me go ahead and change over to it. Git checkout Nathan. So now I'm in the Nathan branch and I could go ahead and make my changes. So I could come over to one of these files. Let me just pop this one open real quick. And let's say I come in here and I'm like, oh, I can make this code better or whatever else I want to do, you know, make some changes in here. Of course, doing what I just did would break this entire code. But the point is I'm editing files is what I'm trying to show you in this demonstration. So I make my changes to my branch. And then, of course, I go to git add and then git commit and optimize WordPress. S3 file. All right, cool. That is super helpful. And then of course I can go ahead and push it to my remote repository. So it goes blah, 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 up to my remote repository over on GitHub. So here I am. Let me refresh real quick. Now we see that I have these branches over here. So if I click into my branches, we see that I now have a Nathan branch over here, click into it real quick. And I can go down to my WordPress file here 
and we can see that I added some some gibberish here and broke the entire program. So let's say that I'm happy with my changes and I want to like contribute my changes to the actual base project. So to do that, I would hit this new pull request button and then I'd go ahead and write the changes that I made to the project. You know, I'd basically inform the, the author of the project of what I did in this branch and why they should go ahead and accept my changes. So I'd write, you know, a big old description in here of what I did and why they should accept it. And then I hit this create pull request. And when I do that, it's gonna push my, my request to that author of the base project and he can choose to accept it or reject it. Now I'm not gonna do that right now because I made a gibberish change, but that's how you can go ahead and fork other projects and you can then pull them into your remote repository, pull them down to your local repository, create a branch, make your changes, push it to your remote repository, and then you create this pull request to try and get it into the actual author's project. And that's how you can contribute to open source projects on GitHub. And that's really it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.